about a little subject that has um, come to my attention from actually one of my friends. She, we started talking about fitness and stuff like that, and then she was like, um, oh, my, like, boyfriend's, uh, like, sister-in-law or, um, or no, my boyfriend's, like, aunt or, like, relative or whatever wants me to join a bikini competition with her and compete and I was just kind of thinking like oh my gosh like that is awesome oh I love it when people are willing to compete and stuff like that it is such a tough sport I mean it takes like willpower lots of like mental stability and just like physical and it takes so much effort to do this and I just thought it was awesome and um, the first thing I said to her was try if it fits your macros um, I was like if you don't like it then you know just stick to like the bro diet or whatever and uh, I just think that if it fits your macros is something that anybody who wants to compete should do uh, well like not should do but like should try or at least like think about doing just because it's something that I believe is a little bit better on your body mentally that way you can kind of fit in if you want like some ice cream or if you want like a little like treat you can actually fit it in and what's nice about macros is you just have to hit them for the week so if you have like like two days that are like high carb and then the rest are low carb or like kind of like two days that are higher calorie and the rest are lower then you can kind of um you can kind of treat yourself on the higher carb days I don't mean like have like pizza donuts and like a whole bunch of snacks on those high carb days I mean like just kind of give yourself a little mental break and just be like okay there we go I did it like and now I have to be serious tomorrow um and then another thing you have to be carry like careful about is when you are competing you go into a calorie deficit that will be very very low and sometimes they can get a little dangerously low um sometimes competitors get as low as a thousand calories yeah that's that's pretty low um but what you gotta do is uh after you are done competing and you have you know hit your lowest calorie intake you need to start reverse dieting now reverse dieting is something that's very very cool um it is building up your metabolism again so what you would want to do is every every other week you're going to want to increase your calories by 100 calories if you're doing your macros you're going to want to increase your fat um every two weeks by about five grams and or no no two grams five grams a lot um and then increase your carbs by about let me think about 10 grams every week or no every yeah let's do every other week and then every two weeks for fat and those weeks that you incorporate more carbs and more fat um, you're going to need to increase so let's say that the weeks that you don't increase you're gonna just do like weightlifting and light cardio and then the and light cardio I mean like two days a week and then the weeks that you do increase you're gonna want to do like um, three or four days of cardio at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes and I would do hit cardio. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, sustain uh, long sustainable cardio is fine. Uh, where you just like jog at one pace. Um, it whatever whatever floats your boat as long as you get cardio in. I mean, seriously, like 
you know, it shouldn't matter. There's no special cardio that would really bring anything. I mean, biking is nice because it's easy on your knees. Uh, elliptical is nice. Um, but you should mix it up a little bit. Give your body some, uh, give your body some differentiation. I can't even say it. Um, <laughs> and just kind of mix it up. Give yourself some different views of cardio because cardio can get pretty boring and to tell the truth I don't like cardio no I mean I like to go for walks and bike rides and stuff but if I don't have to do cardio I'm okay with that I mean I do it enough just if I've been sitting down a lot or if I'm been just kind of lazy I'll be like oh I should probably get up and go for a walk you know get my uh, steps in for the day I don't do the 10,000 steps because I just can't yeah I maybe get like four to five thousand steps a day um that's just me but 10,000 no not gonna happen anyways so for competing uh, competing is very expensive too. That is one thing that you need to take in consideration. It will probably cost you about, I mean, it, it kind of depends. It can be from like $200 to probably about three to $400. I mean, because there are spray tans, food. I mean, if you put in to how, like, uh, how much food you're like how much money you're spending on food well that's gonna cost you a lot because <laughs> food is expensive and it kind of is sad because you're gonna have to buy like a lot of a um, little bit better choice food and to kind of fill you up lots of like fresh leafy greens and just kind of food that has volume that will keep you full and focused on your goals uh so that can be a little expensive. I mean, there's a lot to it. And if I were you guys, I would do a lot more research. Um, but I'm going to end this podcast. And you guys have a great day. God bless.